Is this gonna be easy or is it gonna be hard? Oh, it'll be just as easy as taking them off. Okay, uh, okay. Gonna be some attention to yeah. detail putting them back on. I'm not sure what's happening anymore. <laughs> Welcome back to the hangar, guys. I'm wearing a Lycoming hat. I am wearing a Lycoming shirt because today we're putting our Lycoming engine back together. I had a lot of fun at Osh and uh, Lycoming. I was talking to them and they hooked me up with these and I'm, I'm incredibly grateful for them. Anyways, we've been doing a lot of stuff inside of the background to get this engine ready to be put back together. So let me show you the details of that. Starting over here, we have the table. We've got some more bits and pieces painted. These guys are gonna remake, but oh my gosh, look at this powder coated goodness. This is gonna look pretty pretty amazing. We also had the valve covers done. I'm, I'm really excited about this, but let's take a look right over here. So we have all the cylinder heads. Now in the last video, I was telling you that I needed to get something done and that was done back over, over here. And you can see the work here. Uh, what it was is we needed to put injector ports on this. And for some reason, two of our cylinders didn't have them. You can see this one over here does. We just got to remove that plug. So we took this over to the machinist and had it taken care of. And now we can put fuel injection on all of these cylinders. Now, outside of that, we've cleaned everything up. I've put a little coat of paint on these on the exterior, as you can see, just kind of give it a little pizzazz. And also some of the paint was coming off and I just wanted to look a little bit cleaner, but that will look really good against our red valve covers and intake uh, pipes and all those types of things. So uh, cleaned up, everything should be ready to go right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting these mounted. I have no idea what I'm doing, which is why Dwayne is here. So there's gonna be a method to all of this and it actually starts over here. We've got all of the cylinders lined up because we're gonna be putting new gaskets and seals on everything. You know, tear it apart, why not? I mean, it's probably the best thing to do. So first thing we wanna do is get these O-ring gaskets and uh, show them where those are gonna go. Oh, just, just right there? Yeah. Nice I'm gonna put those on, on all of them, just so we don't forget to put them on because that would be a big pain. Once those are on, we can bring them over here and we'll be using a little spring compressor, well, spring compressor, piston ring compressor, and we'll squeeze these guys up after we line these rings up exactly where we want to. Then it's just a matter of two people <laughs> taking the jug and pushing it on to the piston at the, as one, it's, it, it, you guys are gonna have to watch, but we should be able to get this on. Definitely gonna be using some oil and lubrication to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Oh, oh, look, it's my son. I'm not excited about the piston ring clamp that I just bought to be able to do this. Um, it's kind of janky, but uh, hopefully it works. All right, it's time. Dwayne, you got that? Okay. And just push. Yeah. I feel like I'm over all of them. Oh, there we go. There you go. Awesome. So that, that's number one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bolt this all up and then do all the others so it's time lapse time because this is not the most entertaining thing in the world let's go now i don't know if we mentioned this inside the last video but this is a special tool that kind of goes around the cylinder it makes it so you can use a wrench out here but also get to the head right there so See, Dwayne here is just putting a little tightening on it. I uh, forgot my torque wrench at home, so we're just getting these, you know, snug for right now so there's not any problems, and I will come back tomorrow and torque these all down. All right, that is it. We've got all four cylinders on. Ty is buttoning up, getting these things tightened down, and uh, we're ready for the next stage, which is getting the rod, of, what, what are these called, the pipes that... Tubes. Push rod tubes, getting the push rod tubes put in. We're going to replace all of these gaskets and then uh, do some stuff up here to set it all in place. And those guys are actually back over here. So what I went ahead and did is paint all of these and prepare them to be put back on a nice gloss black. And we used an engine paint on these so that they can heat up and not have any problems whatsoever. But those are going to look really, really nice. So you ready, Dwayne? Yes. 
Okay, so first thing, um, we have been using this what, uh, Molly, co Molly Coat? Um, it's just a dialectic uh, insulating compound, and we're just putting this on everything to make sure that it stays soft and healthy over time, but uh, taking these guys off real quick. A little bit of this on the new ones. And then we're just gonna pop these guys in up here. I don't think there's an orientation for them at all. No lip, no ledge. No lip, no, no ledge. No, okay. no taper. So there we go there, and there we go there. And then we also have these O-rings that go on the end of the tubes here. And since my hands are greasy, I have been volunteered. All right, so we got these two guys, and then they just slide in carefully through here. And then they seat back there and up here at the exact same time. And make fun noises too. They do make fun noises. Ah, okay, there they go. Next, we've got this little bracket right here. And, uh, oh wait, wait, no, it goes this way. There we go. And a little clip. That one just goes like that. It's got little uh, arms on it that's holding everything in place. And then just a washer and a nut. Oh, oh nuts. There we go. And we'll tighten that guy down and it'll hold everything in place. So that's all we need to do. Just repeat it three more times. Back to the time lapse. All right, this is all done. It looks fantastic. We've got everything put on right. And in the time lapse, you guys may have noticed it on this side, I did the nuts and bolts backwards, but I did get that fixed. So next up, I wanna get the valve covers put on this, which means we've gotta put the rockers back inside of here and put the pin in and all that stuff. And uh, as long as I put this guy where this is on a compression, I believe, these should be closed up enough for me to be able to put those on. So we'll fumble through that and get it on all the way around. There we have it. All of the valves and push rods and everything have been installed on both sides of the airplane. So now it's time for our valve covers. And like I said, these things are gorgeous. We got them powder coated locally here and they did a fantastic job. These all look brand new and my dirty, greasy hands, I'm getting dirt and grease all over them, but I got new hardware for all of them. Stainless steel, these are ready to go on. And I'm not gonna use these cork ones. These came with the rebuild kits that I had. I'm gonna be using these nice silicone uh, gaskets. So yeah, let's get going. Wow, these look absolutely phenomenal with a little bit of paint right there. These tubes, I mean, it, it looks like I did a lot more than I actually did, but oh man, I could not be more excited with this aesthetic, but, but we're not done. We still got the intake pipes to put on. And these guys look amazing as well. I've got everything laid out here to do the installation, but you know, we had these powder coated. I went ahead and painted the collars here. We've got our gaskets. We've got everything that we need to reassemble the bottom end of the airplane. I've got these guys right here. I'm considering remaking them, but they definitely need to be cleaned. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Probably won't do that inside of this video. But uh, let's get this on so we can get the full aesthetic of what this engine is actually gonna look like. All right, I got these guys done. Oh man. The aesthetics of this engine are going to be awesome. I'm super excited about this. Um, uh, you know what else I realized is that once I get the cowling on, no one's going to be able to, to really see this. So this is more for me than it is for you guys, but it's still really, really cool. 
So all I have to really do to finish up this portion of the project is get these guys cleaned up and put back on. Gonna get some new hoses and you know just general cleaning. That guy is actually broken. You can see that the head of that is all cockeyed. So I'm gonna remake that one. It's not really interesting stuff, but you guys will see a lot of it when we go to do the fuel lines for this airplane. So I'm gonna save that for later and just do these off screen. But hey, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Seriously, I'm, I'm super excited with how it's all turning out. But uh, if you like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below on what you think, because that type of stuff really helps the channel out. Anyways, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.